Today in The Sims 4, we're heading into Cast to create iconic cartoon characters as Sims. A little while ago, we did Every Room is a Different Cartoon, and you guys loved that video so much. So let's try the Create a Sim version with some of my favorite characters. We're gonna start off with one of my OG favorites, Miss Daphne Blake from Scooby-Doo. I'm gonna be focusing on the older version of Daphne, but my personal favorite version of her was played by Sarah Michelle Gellar in the 2002 live action Scooby-Doo movie. This will forever be one of my faves. Look at those boots. She absolutely slayed in this. Okay, let's start off with the face. We're gonna remove the hair, remove the hat. We're gonna change her skin tone to something a little bit more pale. And skin details, I'm going with the Brighton one. First thing I'm gonna do is change those eyebrows. And in the reference that I'm looking at, she's got black eyes and black eyebrows. I think that might look a little weird when we give her the orange hair though. So I'm gonna go with like this shade of brown for her brows. Eyes, I'm gonna change to black. I'm gonna make them quite a bit bigger and pull them apart. And also they are slanted a little bit in the cartoon. I'm gonna play around with these a little bit, making the pupil a little bigger. I'm gonna give her some liner, just something to give her that cat eye look. And I think I am gonna give her lashes for this. I might try these dream girl ones. Her nose is tiny. We've got a little more of like a pointed chin. And for her mouth, I think I might try this preset here and maybe just like bring the upper lip apart a little bit. Okay, let's try this for now. Now we need to go and find her iconic orange hair. I originally thought of this one here. I think this hair is so pretty. The length and the curliness of it, I really like. And I do have a headband accessory that I could add, like this one here, which she does have the clip there already, but I don't hate it. And it does kind of go with like this 60s vibe, which to be fair, Scooby-Doo did air first in 1969. Other ones I was considering was this one, like maybe in that color, but I don't have the curls. Or we have this one here, which like has the length, has the curls. I'm gonna play around with these two. For her makeup, she has like a pinky purple lip going on. I really like these ones here from Urban X Sims. And for her blush, I've gone back to that hair. You guys know we're gonna go back and forth until the end here. For her blush, I think it looks really cute, like right under her eyes like that, like more in the center. And this peach tone looks very pretty on her. So I think I'm gonna try one of these. And I do know I have the perfect necklace here. She always wears this like green neck scarf. And I have this one right here, which comes in green. It's perfect. Okay, let's find her an outfit and we're gonna change the bunny slippers, although those are adorable. And okay, what do we have for her iconic purple outfit? Honestly, I feel like I have a lot of purple stuff in here that could work. I have this purple fit here. She kind of just has like a long sleeve dress. Oh, maybe not with that in the back. <laughs> but I could also see her going for something more like this, like a two-piece set, maybe even something like that one. She wears stockings in the original one. So I think I'm just just gonna give her these. And then for the shoes, we need some purple shoes. Oh my gosh, I have some purple boots, like the movie. You know what? We're gonna have to do a movie look too. I can't not give her these. <laughs> okay, maybe for her mystery hunting look, I'll give her these shoes. They have like a tiny heel, kind of like what she wears anyway, and a little bow. Maybe we'll also give her some purple nails. I don't know why the bracelets aren't working on her. I was gonna try and give her something, but I guess not. It might be like the headband or the necklace messing it up, but I don't really want to part with those. For her traits, I'm going to give her active, maybe a little bit of high maintenance, and we'll give her romantic. We know about your little fling going on with Fred, okay? And the fact that these two were engaged in real life during the filming of this movie and then got married shortly after, it's just perfect. The casting on that movie, okay, I'm done. <laughs> For her aspiration, maybe I'll just give her like bodybuilder. And okay, let's give her one more outfit. I know I said we were going to go off the original, but I cannot see these purple boots boots and not give them to her. So, okay, for her outfit, we're going to try and match the Sarah Michelle Gellar version. And for the dress, I don't think we're gonna find like the exact one. Wait, this is iconic. This might have to be it. In the movie, she also has like a D for Daphne necklace. So I actually think I have an initial and it might be D. Oh my God, okay, I don't know why I have that, but this is everything. <laughs> it's actually almost perfect, but we have a little bit of like glitching on the left. Leg. Okay, so here we are. This is gonna be Daphne with the boots and we got Daphne with no boots. 
There's only two types. I'm just kidding. Okay, we're moving on from here. We're going on to another one of my favorite cartoons, which was Totally Spies. This one was so high up there for me. It's literally my Twitter banner. <laughs> so we're gonna be making Alex. Okay, so we got random Sim here. Let's go ahead, remove the makeup, the hair, everything. Her skin tone is a little bit darker than this. So we're gonna change that. For skin details, I'm gonna try and layer them. I'm gonna do the original Brighton one that I like to use, but I also wanna give her some freckles. In the show, the characters are kind of created in this almost like anime style. And underneath her eyes, she has these tiny little details, like little lines. I could not find any of those for Sims 4 CC. So instead of those, I'm gonna give her freckles. Okay, let's change the brows. All of their eyebrows are kind of thin. I always find myself coming back to these ones. I need to up my eyebrow game in CC, but I have so many and I don't use any of them. We'll come back to the brows. Let's change the eyes. And in this show, they have big eyes. I'm gonna be playing with the shape, making them a lot wider. She already has her eye color pretty much. I might just change it around to like one of these instead. For their noses, again, they have like tiny little noses, <laughs> like literally just like a little ee -ee for their nose. <laughs> Chin is super pointy and we're gonna bring out the cheeks a little bit. Also, their mouths are very, very small. So I'm just gonna shrink the lips. And after playing around with the face a little bit, I think I'm happy with this. Let's try and do her hair. She has a very short, almost like flippy hairstyle and she has black hair. Let's play around with a few different options here. I've got this one. I feel like it's not quite there though. These are too long. I do wanna go with like the bluey black color as opposed to the other one because I feel like she does have a tiny bit of a blue tint. Oh, this is cute, but I feel like we're still not there. What about that one? We've got the length. It has like the flippy style. I think I'm gonna give her this and we're gonna give my girl lashes. I did one video last time where we created like popular Barbies and I didn't give them lashes, but today we will be doing the lashes. For makeup, they all wear like this pink gloss. I like the shininess of this one. This one has a really cute shine too. Okay, I'm gonna give her some blush. I feel like that one looks very cute. And for the liner, I really wanna do the cat eye liner again. I think I might give her that one. Okay, now for the outfit. There are so many options to choose from here. I noticed she wears a lot of green and obviously yellow. And I also noticed a lot of her outfits are like cute tank top with a basic skirt and high boots. So, okay, let's first see if I can find a skirt. I think I'm gonna look for green. Something like this, I could totally see like that green there. I have a lot of options. We've got some like jean skirts, belted skirts. This one with the pockets I could also see. Okay, let's try and find a top. For the top, I'm gonna go for a yellow. And it's normally just like a basic like cropped shirt like this. This one could also be cute. I feel like they wore a lot of halter tops and stuff too. I was young when I watched this and I remember thinking like their outfits were so cool and I wanted to go to school like wearing what they were wearing. But I was like so young. My parents were like, you can't go to school in a freaking tube top, especially not to the strict school that I went to. Now I'm trying to find some boots. I feel like these ones might be a little much for the outfit that I'm wearing, but there are these ones. I could totally see them rocking these and they do come in yellow. Or I have these ones. These ones are a little bit higher. I'm gonna give her a necklace, maybe with these cute heart studded earrings. I've been going back and forth on her outfit a little bit and I think this is gonna be the one, but I did find the Totally Spies like spy outfit, so... We gotta do it. How cool is this? It even comes in like all the different colors. I'm obsessed. For her traits, I gave her the bodybuilder aspiration. She's active, clumsy, and childish. So here we have Alex Kasoy from Totally Spies, and we're gonna move on to the next one, which I'm a little nervous about. I wanna attempt to make Lisa Simpson in The Sims 4. I don't know how we're gonna do this in The Sims. This is obviously gonna be the most cartoony looking character we've done yet. In terms of like the skin color, the hair, I don't know how we're gonna do it. And she has to be a child, right? She's gotta be. Okay, before I start, I might have to do a little bit of custom content shopping for this. Oh my gosh, the 3D real life model of Lisa. That can't be right. That's scary. <laughs> How the heck did someone do that in The Sims? That's terrifying. I think they're just like helmets. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I need that skin color though. Okay, I did find a yellow skin tone here. I'm gonna download this and I'm trying to look up like spiky hair. <laughs> look at this Sims 3 version. <laughs> uh, 
That's amazing. All right, so I downloaded this skin tone. There it is. Oh, she's highlighter yellow. It is perfect. I did put on a skin detail. I don't know why, but let's try and figure out how we're going to do this face here. She's got very thin eyebrows, if any eyebrows at all. Maybe I'll just try and make them very light. Maybe I'll try and give her these really light ones. Oh God. Okay, we'll come back to it, but let's do the eyes. So obviously they're going to be very big and round. I think I should give her like black eyes, but like, should I make the pupil very small? I can't get it any smaller than that. They got to be round. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> We need to do her nose, which kind of comes out a little and it's like pretty round. And then her mouth is literally just a line. So I'm going to try and give her very thin lips. We'll just kind of go like that. And then for the shape of her chin, <laughs> this is so hard in a way. She's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, let's try and find this hair. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna turn off feminine and just get all of the options. I'm looking for spiky. Like there's stuff like this, but I feel like none of it is suiting her. Also, we have something like that. <laughs> I give her a mohawk. From the side, that's kind of what it looks like. I feel like my Lisa is like the opposite of what she actually is like. Okay, maybe I'll give her this. We've got the texture back there and like it's a reach, but I can kind of see it. I'm also sort of limited as she's a child here to like what I can put on her for like necklaces. <laughs> the Twitter logo, that did not age well. But like this has the pearls in it. Like Lisa does wear the pearl necklace. And I wish I could give her lashes too because Lisa does have lashes in the show. I don't have the option though for kids, I don't think, but I can give her that. It helps a little. <laughs> Okay, let's try and find the dress. She wears this orange strapless dress. I don't really have a whole lot for kids. Hold on, let me see if I can find something better. Okay, I decided to give her these like spiky buns instead of the hair that she had. I feel like it just suits her better. Maybe we can even change it to like more of a blonde. She's keeping the necklace and I've been trying to see if there's like a shirt and skirt that I could combine, but like nothing's really matching. And I also found this here, which has like a bow at the back. It's way more formal than and it needs to be. So I think I might just give her like this skirt with like an orange top and we're gonna call it a day. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be our Lisa. Because she's a child, I can only give her like a couple things here. So I gave her the whiz kid aspiration because she wants to be the smartest kid in school. I also gave her the genius trait, but I think I'm also gonna give her the like for jazz music. So we've added that in there as well. Okay, we're gonna move on to actually another yellow character. I don't really plan for this. But we're gonna make Spongebob. Now, I wonder what Spongebob would look like as a human. Wait, how old is Spongebob supposed to be? This just dawned on me. He lives by himself. He can drive, kind of. One website is saying 14. Now I'm going down the rabbit hole, you guys. This website is saying he might be like mid-20s. Maybe I'll make him a teen. Okay, let's go in. We got to get that yellow skin tone back. This is gonna look so weird. Yo, where are people getting this? Look at this in The Sims 4, apparently there's no way, right? <laughs> Can I find a Sims 4 CC Spongebob hat? I must. I must try. <laughs> Look at this. No, stop. Stop. This is nightmare fuel. Look at Mr. Krabs. Oh my god. I don't think I can safely download this. I learned my lesson from last time. Okay, I guess we're gonna just have to work with what we can do here. <laughs> I don't know if I should give him hair in the first place. The brows here might actually work out. Although again, I feel like we'd be better off without them. <laughs> Oh God, I feel like this is gonna end up looking more like Homer. Okay, the eyes are gonna be big again. SpongeBob has blue eyes. <laughs> And again, we're gonna make the eyes huge. Munchbob also has these really cute little lashes. <laughs> so I feel like I have to include those. They're only on the top though. And the nose, we have to bring the nose out. <laughs> this video is taking a turn. Okay, for the mouth again, we need to go with like a smaller mouth, like literally just a line, even though he's always smiling. And the teeth, we have to give the iconic buck teeth. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get the head to look a lot more squared. <laughs> he looks like Lego. <laughs> and he also has like 
some blush happening like red i don't really think we're gonna be able to get it to show up on this yellow <laughs> but we have to try so like there we go i'm trying to get his chin right here as well <laughs> and here we are let's try and get the outfit so i need a white collared shirt with like a red tie if possible would also settle possibly for the bow tie or honestly even just like without it i wish the ties were under like necklaces i feel like maybe then i could like change the color more easily okay no tie but i think i'll be able to find those pants i need like brown pants with a black belt or shorts <gasps> Okay, and now I need some socks. Oh my gosh, they're kind of like these. I just need like a stripe if possible. Oh my gosh, there we go. This is perfect. And now I need the shoes, the squeaky shoes. They're like dress shoes. <laughs> Stop. Since we couldn't find a tie, I'm giving him this little flower instead. And here we are. Okay, my aspiration. Where is just like the happiness option? This one. This sim aims to get the most out of life by living carefree and rules free. I feel like that applies. We're gonna go childish here. Can I not do cheerful for teens? Okay, maybe we'll just do adventurous. That works. My name is SpongeBob SquarePants. And here we are. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more here. Finally, we are going to be doing Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls are supposed to be kids, but I think I'm gonna make Blossom as a teen here because we've learned there are way more options that way. <laughs> And just because we're going with that, I changed Daphne and Alex to teens as well. Okay, let's go in and remove the hair. I'm gonna change her skin tone and I'm also gonna go in and add on the skin details. Okay, the eyes are gonna be difficult because they, again, are massive. They take up like the entire face. And she has pink eyes. Her brows are kind of covered by her bangs, which we'll change later, but she has orange hair. And okay, let's see how big we can get these eyes. I think I might try and do something like that. For their nose, they, it literally doesn't exist. So we're gonna try and make it tiny again and the mouth is just a little cartoony line So I'm just gonna go in and make the lips super tiny. They all have kind of rounder faces So I'm gonna pull out the cheeks and okay I'm gonna change the brows, but let's go ahead and find a hair I'm hoping I can find one that just covers the eyebrows She has her hair in a ponytail with a bow up top and I know I've got the bow I just gotta find the ponytail. I have this one here. This is really cute I've also got that one, but she does have more of like a bang and her hair is very long let's give her this one and let's go ahead and get that bow oh my gosh so cute i gave her some blush but i don't think i'm gonna give her any more makeup and for the outfit she wears a pink and black dress we could give her this and we have the pink and the black i'm gonna give her the same white tights as daphne and for the shoes they're just like black little like mary janes which i do have these wait okay what if i did a pink dress with like one of these wrapped around this is totally giving powerpuff girls if they were teens We've got the similar dress on. I think this is so cute. I'm gonna give her some red nails. I did go back and give her just a little bit of lip gloss and this is going to be our Blossom Sim. I'm gonna give her the leader of the pack aspiration. We're gonna give her the genius one and self-assured. So this has been us making cartoon characters as Sims in The Sims 4. Definitely took a little bit of a turn, but I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments section down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.